Still ahead tonight on Time Warner Cable 8 News at 7, a local de fire department celebrates 100 years of firefighting and community service. Our VIP Chautauqua and more coming up after the break. Be right back. Time now for our VIP Chautauqua with Cable 8's James Reed. And tonight, we introduce you to the historian for the Jamestown Fire Department as they get ready to celebrate a century of service. This very day is the 100th anniversary of the creation of the Career Professional Fire Department in the city. Um, I quoted uh, that birth as being uh, born in, out of chaos. Uh, the fire department today actually grew out of a uh, conflagration that happened um, on the corner of uh, 3rd and Cherry 101 years ago. Uh, that fire burned for three days consumed or um, severely damaged four square city blocks, killed two firefighters in the city, and uh, directly was responsible as a catalyst for us segueing into a fully professional fire department. We're going to have an old-fashioned fireman's ball at the Hotel Jamestown for our ex-members, their families, the current members, to just celebrate our 100th anniversary of our career. Uh, we've had a lot of tragedies over that hundred years, but once in a while we get the opportunity to celebrate. The City Fire Department, through the Morton Club, is establishing a fledgling museum uh, for the uh, preservation of artifacts, photographs, of uh, things pertaining to our fire department, both volunteer and paid. Uh, we're also hoping that if anyone's out there, if their grandfather, great-grandfather or father were either on the volunteers or the uh, uh, paid fire department, and they find these artifacts in attics or back rooms, please donate them to the, to the fire department through the Morton Club instead of chucking them. There's so much history that goes to the dump. Do you have anything that you're going to contribute to the museum? Or yes, uh, I, I am going to be contributing some significant things that are directly related to the 1911 establishment. Uh, one of the first fire helmets uh, from the initial paid fire department. Uh, uh, some photographs that are uh, very um, significant to the early fire department, including the original uh, 37 members. Uh, Chief Wilson's dress hat that he wore to the Goki conflagration for three days, and if a hat could ever speak, that would be the one to speak volumes. Um, many, many other items, uh, uh, a, lot of, a lot of significant things that I think people appreciate long after I'm no longer around. All right, thanks, James. Now, for any of you who do have items to donate to the forthcoming Fire Department Museum, contact Chief Harvey at the JFD station, and be sure to join us again next week for part two of our profile.